So, good evening, good evening, good evening. We're back again. Third of three uploads on the channel today. Lighting's not great. Apologies. At some point, I will set up the lights that I spent an absolute arm and a leg on um, before I went back to England. Now we're back again. Uh, they're kind of sat in the cupboard in the underground car park. <laughs> I will sort them at some point. Uh, so, yeah, you won't have to look at Lee looking like a lobster. You'll be looking at Golden Child Lee with lights beaming everywhere, proper high powerful lights. Uh, so, yeah, I will sort them out at some point. So, apologies, bear with me. Uh, it's been a mad couple of weeks since I've been here. Um, I ain't even got anything sorted. Like, literally, I've been here and I haven't even shielded. Like, I've been here for two weeks and it's just problem after problem. But I digress. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. 350 away from 60,000 subs. Come on, baby. Let's get it done. Light work. Yeah, you lot are mad. Thank you very much, man. Like, real talk. You lot are mad. So thank you very much for that. Make sure you subscribe to more Lee Gunner as well. Yeah, big up to everyone who is subscribed to that. Nearly four and a half K on there. So keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep liking. And uh, we're going to talk about Lataro Martinez. No, we're not. We spoke about him on the last video. <laughs> I'm having an absolute mess. I've only had a couple of, couple of little ones as well. Look, they're only tiny, like Coca-Cola cans. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to talk about Lataro Martinez. I spoke about that on the last video. Go and check it out. Uh, we're going to speak about uh, Locatelli. And Fabrizio Romano confirms the deal's off. Like we all knew it would be. He only wants to join Juventus. <sighs> so basically, we've chased around a 10, as in 10 out of 10. We've chased around a 10 out of 10 all night, only to get ditched at the, um, at the lights coming on in the nightclub. And uh, the lights go up, and then she goes, ooh, 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 don't really fancy that. Oh, I tell you what, you're looking all right, babes. Why don't yeah, I'll go in with you? You know what I'm saying? It's one of them ones. Juventus are looking a bit more promising. They've got a better manager. They've got Ronaldo. They've got a better squad in general. It's Turin. Yeah, London's beautiful, by the way. I do love London, my favorite city. But you've got the weather. You've got Ronaldo. You've got Allegri. In there about half a billion pound in debt. He knows he's going to win a league title if he goes there. What's he going to win if he comes to Arsenal? What's he going to win? Um, probably the most deluded fan base on the whole planet. Um, he will probably win the most overrated player of the season award. Um, because if he came in and flopped, our fans are still giving him a pass anyway. Yeah, if he came in and had a bad season, oh, it's his first season. You've got to give him time. Lee, you're so negative. Uh, we kind of done that with Thomas Party last season. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed he has a good season this season because he is a quality player. So is Locatelli as well, by the way. Um, all jokes aside. But I think we all kind of knew deep down. Like It's like when you're in a relationship with somebody and like you're doing all the donkey work, but you're not really getting much back. And you kind of know deep down that that person's not really feeling it. Like, But you keep trying, you keep trying, and then eventually you just have to accept defeat. <laughs> this is why it's like with uh, Locatelli. We all knew he weren't coming. We all knew that his agent, the CEO of the club he's at, El Presidente and all of them ones, we all knew that they were just playing the game to get Juventus to drum up the money. Juventus's first bid's been rejected. Um, they will get him. 100% adamant that they will get him. He will go there. He will sign the deal and he will be a league title winner, a, um, a Serie A winner. Uh, the Scudetto will be coming to Locatelli's property and uh, he'll have the medal to show and all sorts. And we'll be sitting there going, yeah, let's just lick our wounds. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We've got El Nenny. <laughs> I swear this football club is the biggest banter club. It's amazing, yeah? Because you know what? I've said this so many times. If I wasn't a 39-year-old guy that has supported Arsenal for pretty much since I was born, um, and I supported, say, I don't know, Doncaster, big up Doncaster, uh, but if I supported Doncaster, I probably wouldn't run a YouTube channel and be able to pump out three videos a day because, you know what, real talk, there wouldn't be enough content. With this club, it's just pure and utter 
banter on a daily basis and it's like it's sad as well like I've seen people just like gas up so many average players over the last decade at this club it's sad it is proper sad now gassing up a manager who's bang average that's in his fourth transfer window begging to have a, um, a pre-season but now we're in a pre-season with 17 days until the season starts and he's only signed two players two players and um yeah both of them are backups apparently so well done mate the club's going well edu um edu's more interested in jet skiing and having that uh, fine dining with Raul and um in monaco um but yeah we're not really serious are we we're not a serious football club we're just a well we're all right we're nice we're the kind of club that you come to to end your career oh it's all right we just go there we get a little bit you know it's a bit comfortable we get a few quid and um yeah we've seen that time and time again with all the chelsea rechecks <laughs> seriously the club just makes me laugh it's mad but listen locatelli top baller uh really good player well done you're gonna get your dream move to juventus well done to your agent well done to sasalu is it i think the club I've, I've probably pronounced that wrong uh well done to his club because um they fully finessed arsenal Arsenal did put a bid in. Arsenal had a serious offer on the table. That was confirmed again by Fabrizio. But he has come out today and said, look, he ain't coming, mate. He only wants Juventus. So we're kind of um, running around like a, like an absolute twat, trying to find somebody in that DM position. So we'll probably end up with Ruben Neves. And listen, I ain't too disappointed if we sign Neves. I actually think he's all right. Um, pretty decent player. Uh, the only thing I don't like about him is his lapses of concentration, but he's nowhere near as bad as Granit Xhaka on or off the ball. So if we signed Ruben Neves, I'd actually be happy with that. I think that's a good bit of business. Uh, we've obviously been linked to Odegaard. I did a video on that. No thanks. Yeah, no thanks. And again, I'm going to say it one more time for the cheap seats at the back. If you've got a funky, exotic name, or you're a good-looking footballer, a good-looking man, uh, or... In the case that I see earlier uh, of Miguel Aziz, um, and you've got Ronaldo Fies all of a sudden in two months, um, our fan base will rate you. So, yeah, Fetish FC uh, back again. Uh, you don't have to be a baller. You just have to be good looking, have nice legs, and um, talk the right game. And that's it. That constitutes for playing for Arsenal Football Club and being rated by the absolutely most deluded fan base on the planet. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, I rate proper ballers and I rate them on their ability, not their looks or the size of their legs or their calves. And like, it's a bit weird. Arsenal fans are a weird species, aren't they? Um, but there we go. It is what it is. Big up to all of you that have watched. Uh, thank you. I'm in jovial mode today. Uh, make sure you can subscribe to more League Gunner as well. I uh, do appreciate that. The vlog will be dropping tomorrow. Uh, we secured the phone today. The phone number is secure. Big up Vodafone, by the way. Um, anyone who's in Spain who wants to get a Spanish number and has Vodafone as their UK number in their iPhone, Vodafone SIM works, mate. I didn't think it would. I thought that there'd be a block on it somewhere where you had to get it unlocked. But that obviously isn't the case. We got it sorted. It's all good, baby. And uh, yeah, man, it's been a productive day, really productive day. So big up to all of you lot. Thank you for watching the videos. I do appreciate it. Uh, make sure you circulate the content around as well. And tomorrow I'll be back again with free uploads, plus the vlog on the More channel. Go and subscribe, like I said. Stick a thumbs up and make sure you circulate this video around as well. Don't forget to subscribe either. Like I said, 350 until the magical 60 and the magical 60 is the whole of the emirates stadium you don't need no double jabs to come here mate yeah you can watch this for free there's no restrictions i don't care where you're from what color you are what creed you are um what your fetishes are you can fancy a footballer or not fancy a footballer i don't give a shit if i'm honest uh so we'll have a wonderful evening and uh, don't forget i'll tatter out always and twice on sunday laters we're out of it